And God was so touched and so passionate because he saw us living in darkness. And God looked for them wherever they were hiding. The second thing, uh, the, uh, the first thing is that they, w- they were uh, God's, uh, yeah, God's mercy was upon them. One day, God uh, talked to Adam and Eve. And at that moment, they were already, had already seen. He told them, he asked them, I left you somewhere here, but now I can't, I can't see you. Where are you? Where are you? Kwa sababu walikuwa uche. Be, it's because they were naked. It's because they had already lost the glory of God. It's because they had already broken the, 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 the covenant. It, they had already uh, b- broken the, co- the covenant between them and God. Because of the sin that they did, it's because of their disobedience and they didn't listen to God. They, 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 hide, they hid themselves. They hid themselves somewhere. They thought God could not see them. And they, they changed their minds, they transformed their mind, they started hiding themselves. The sin, what they did, did not allow them to see God uh, face to face. God asked them, where are you? The Bible says, uh, Adam didn't say, I'm in this place, I'm this in this location. But Adam said something that touched the heart of God. He said, I heard your voice and I, I was afraid. And I heard the footsteps, your footsteps, and then I, I was afraid. Because I have sinned. The wife that you gave me has, has sinned. Has, has um, lied to me. He has sinned. She has sinned. She gave me the fruit that, that you say we should not take and we took. She has already p- uh, broken the promise. And God asks the wife, what, what happened? And the wife, the, the woman told her, Told, told God that I've, I met a serpent. I met a serpent. Uh, was very, very uh, cunning. And uh, she, uh, the, 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 the serpent spoke to me and was very cunning. I couldn't resist. And I listened to the serpent, and then I broke the promise. Kisha mungu waka, waka geuka kwa nyoka. And God, uh, God t- um, spoke to the serpent. Akasema mambo mengi sana. Said so many things. Tangia leo. To, to from today, ewe nyoka umelaaniwa. You are cast. Umelaaniwa. You are cast. Na ewe mama. And you, woman. Tangia leo. From today, katikati yako na katikati ya uinyoka, between you and the serpent, I have put a name in it. Anyone who sees uh, another one the first will, will attack them. Ni kusema nini? Why? Kwa kisingino wewe utakuliwa wewe mama. And it's from on your on your um, food on your um, um, food, you'll be stung by the snake. And you, you will knock the head of the serpent. And God brought them out of the Garden of Eden. 
lakini hakuwa acha but did not leave them lakini hakuwa acha but did not leave them mungu akakumbuka kama ni viumbe god God remember that they are just uh, um, human beings. Kwa sababu walikuwa uchi because they were naked. Akatengeneza vazi la kondo. He, 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 he made a, a covering for them. Akawavalisha nguo from the skin of the lamb and and clothe them. Hakuwatoa kwa bustani wako uchi. He didn't remove them from the, the garden of Eden and le- left them naked. But he clothed them and told them to go. But that also was like a picture, like the first first sacrifice that was was given for redemption of sin. Mungu akaona hiyo damu haitakuwa imetosha. God saw that that blood of the la- that lamb, that animal will not be enough. And they cannot finish sin. Mungu akatengeneza kipindi. And God made another th- another plan. Kipindi cha Mungu kuwaza mtu ataishi na mimi vipi? God made an eternal plan, something that will make a permanent solution. God said, how will me and human beings come to another fellowship? And God made a plan for reconciliation between um, human beings and, and God. And God and in after a while lakini kwa mawazo ya Mungu and up, but in the mind of God Mungu akatengeneza manabii he made prophets he called prophets manabii wakaanza kutabili and prophets started prophesying manabii wakaanza kutabili prophet after prophets prophesying soma kwa kitabu cha nabii Isaya sura ya 9 if you read from the book of Isaiah chapter 9 sura ya 9 mstari ya kwanza Verse nine, chapter 9 verse 1 Kuna maandiko yanasema nini? The Bible says Inasema habari ya watu walio wakitembea kwa giza. It says those people who are in darkness Watu walikuwa wakitembea gizani and those who are in darkness Yesaya katabiri akasema wameuona mwanga mkuu. And Isaiah prophesied and said those who are in darkness have seen the light. Sura ya 9 haya ya kwanza kwa unabii wa Isaiah. In chapter 9 verse 1 of Isaiah kuna maandiko yanasema And the Bible says Gisi huyu mwandishi alisema The Bible says nevertheless there will be no more gloom. Eh Mungu anikusaidia. Lakini inchi ile iliyokuwa kubwa na huzuni haitahabaki daima katika giza hilo ku hapo awali Mungu alizifedhehesha nchi za Zabroni na Naftali lakini siku za usoni atazifa nikisha sehemu hii ya bahari ya inchi iliyo ngambo ya Yordan um, from verse 1 to, to 2. Nevertheless, there will be no more gloom for those who are in distress. In the past, the humble in the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, but in the future, he will honor Galilee of the, na- Galilee of the nations by the way of the sea beyond Jordan. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. Mureke mbasoa nulia kasangu, kavuga ngu, acha ni wataigi. Una sisikia luga yangu alaka. Wacha ni wataigi kuelewa ii mambo ya kusema, watu walio kuwa ngambo, ngambo wakaona nuru. And the Bible says that those who are in darkness, light has dawned. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Muko hapa ama mnetoka. Are you here or you've already gone? Kuko taifa lilibaki halikuingia kwa nchi ya Canaan. There is a nation that did not enter the, the land of Canaan. Watu wa moja walikuwa wavugaji wakasema hatuta ingia. Kanani kungaliki vita. Hatuta ingia wakabaki huko ngambo. There are those who did not go. They said the, the land of Canaan there is a lot of war. And they remain on Lakini the other side. Lakini walikuwa wanajua habari za masia. Walikuwa wanajua. But they knew the prophecy. They knew how 
how the Messiah would come. Tena walikuwa kwa giza. And they were in deep darkness. Nao manabi walianza kutabili. And when the, uh, the, the prophets started prophesying. Ni vindu giza tani ni vitu vizuri sana kuona jinsi manabi walikuwa wanatabili. And it's so fascinating to see how the, 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 uh, the prophets after one after another started prophesying about the coming of it's very different from our prophets of today uh, so many prophets come but uh, these prophets came and they were prophesying one after the other about the coming of messiah hasa manabi walitabiri kuhusu wokovu they were prophesying about the great salvation. Mungu wokovu. And God prepared them so that they can prophesy about the salvation. And most of them were prophesying and telling the, the, the children of Israel, woe unto you, woe unto you, children of Israel. And after that, uh, uh, other prophets came and said, and started telling them the plan of salvation. And that's why if people understand what the word salvation means, we will live in, in, in salvation. Kitu kidogo kinaweza kuwa kubwa wakati wa kiroho. Something small can be a big thing if you look at it in with the spiritual lens. Ikiwa una mawazo mazuri ya kuchimbua maandiko na kutafakari maandiko na kuelewa. If you keenly look at the word of God and patiently look at the word of God you will understand. Watu wanakosa kuelewa, wanakosa kutafakari, wanakosa na ku People just read the word of God and they don't take time to meditate and to look deep into the word of God to understand. That's why they lose the value of the word of God because they just looked at it on the face value. They did not look at the word of God in the deep. And because of these nations, God, God had condemned them. But one day they received a great, a great gift. They received a light. They sang and they say they have also received the light. Why did they say they had received the light? Um, the, the salvation um, came from the from Jews and uh, even yeah. get came to the Hebrews. Yeah, um, the, the Lord has made a plan to even reach the entire nations. And the Lord has made a plan even for me to be reached by this great salvation. God had broke all, all the protocol, all the, the limitations, so that even all the nations would receive this great salvation. And God had broken all this limitation, not only to the Jew, but to all the nations, that everyone will be rich by this great salvation. And that's why we all live in this light. Because Jesus Christ is a great light. He's a great light of our salvation everywhere we go. Hallelujah. The Lord has brought great salvation. 
Mwulize mtu asikufunge, mtu asikukandamize, mtu asikufunge hii jera tena. Ah ah, Mungu ameleta nuru. Let, nuru, nuru let no one limit make a limitation or, or chain you or, or make you in a box because God has brought great freedom and great light. Kwa sababu kwa hii sura ya tisa, kuna andiko linasema Huyu atazaliwa ni Masia ataitwa mshauri wa ajabu Mungu mwenye nguvu Mungu mtawala wa milele Because in a verse in this chapter 9 it says that uh, the Lord has come he is a great counselor a mighty God he is a, with great authority Walikuwa wanamtazamia Masia lakini wakati wa kuzaliwa kwake wote wakasema tumepewa mtoto mwanaume and they were all waiting for the great salvation and when he came they all say that we have received a great salvation. Utawala wake utakuwa begani mwake. And and is, uh, the government the government will be on his shoulder. Atatawala kuanzia kwa kitu cha enzi ya Daudi hata na ufalme wake utakuwa na mwisho. He will rule from the seat of David and his his rule will never end. Ataitwa Mungu wa ajabu. He will be called a great God. Ataitwa mshauri mwenye mamlaka. He will be called a great counselor. Ataitwa Mungu baba tena baba yetu sote. He will be called a great God, God all with us. Na ufalme wake. And his 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 reign utakuwa hauna mwisho. He will be eternal. Akaleta ukovu. He brought salvation. Akaita walio wanyonge na walio kumbwa na mizigo. He, he brought all the people who were burdened, heavily burdened. Akaita wale walikuwa wanasumbuka. He, will, he called everyone who was in trouble. Akaja na ukovu kwa wale walikuwa wanachoka. He, was, he brought salvation to those who were tired. Akaja kuwa pumizisha. And he came to give them rest. Akaleta neno la faraja. He, came, he gave, them to, gave them comfort. Kwa sasa tuweze fukuzwa kwa edeni tena. For now we cannot be, be chased away from from the garden of Eden again. Because he, he changed our names. He is called us the children of God. He has changed us and has called us as the children of God. And when we were just people of God, when we were just uh, um, uh, creation, we were chased out of garden of Eden. But now that we are chained to the children of God, we will not be chased again. Because the Bible says, whoever come to me, I will not throw them uh, uh, anymore. I will not forsake them anymore. The Bible says that God, um, um, Jesus said, I am the, the good shepherd. I know my, my sheep and my sheep knows me. Now, because we have been chained to the children of God. And God in heaven knows us. God knows us. And the Bible says there, uh, when we talk in the book of John, uh, in, the, in Revelation, sorry. And God spoke to J uh, John some great big, big things. He told, he told them, tell the church, I know where you are. Hapo munaka ndipo kuna enzi ya mamlaka ya enzi za shetani. I know where you are. Where you are is when, where there is the, the, the altar, the, the seed of Satan. Lakini nina wajua. But I know you. Nina wajua. I know you. Mungu anatujua. God knows us. Tunatumika kwa ulimwengu wa sasa. We are, we are, we are in, in this world. Tunatumika kwa ulimwengu wa vita kiroho. We are in this world and we're living in a world where there's a lot of spiritual battle. Ukisema vita kwa inchi ya Australia, unasema kitu kingine, lakini ninasema kwa hali ya kiroho. When you talk about war in, in Australia, many, many cannot relate, but I'm speaking about spiritual warfare. Kwa hali ya ulimwengu wa roho, watu wanavita kabisa. And in the, spirit, in the spiritual uh, realm, there's a lot of warfare. Lakini, 
Tunaandiko linasema Mungu anajua mahali tulipo. But the Bible says that God knows where we are. Mungu anajua yale tunayopitia. God knows what we are going through. Mungu anajua gisi amegeuza majini. God knows that wa how we is changed our lives. Kwa, kwa ni zamani tulikuwa na majini na mapambafu majini na mabovu sana. Because in the past we had very bad names, very bad identity. Tulikuwa na jina la kusema sisi ni watumwa. They, we had uh, uh, our names was slavery. If you somebody call you a slave. But when Jesus shared with his disciples, he, t- he told them, "I can't. I, I do not call you slaves. I do not call you slaves again. But I have called you a different name. Because a slave does not know the secret of the of the master." Kilicho sababisha sisi kuwa wana wa salvation ya ame hapa. Uh, the reason why we became uh, part of salvation army here. Ni wakati wa tupatia funguo. When they gave us the key. Ile siku tulijua kama hatu mamba ya utuma inavunjika kabisa. That's when we knew that uh, um, a slavery is broken. Kwa sababu. Wa, wana. Because they made us the children, part mm. of the, the family. Ninaweza pita kwa mlango where I can pass through that, that door kwa and come through the other door. Na ya hapa pote. And I know all the doors in this house. Hata na vyumba na jua. And even the houses, the, the, the offices, Lakini everywhere. Miezi tatu ya kwanza, but the first three months, na moja. I only had one door. Na kuja ti na mpaka hapa na I was only coming through this door and just come straight and sit down over here. Na kutoka, na I just sit here straight and I know where I will go. Because I was living as a slave. And I was because I was not yet made part and, and parcel of the family. But when we were given the keys, Ile siku, the day jina. that day we were the ch- our identity changed. It, it, it was not just keys, but there was also some authority. And that, that authority gave us uh, understanding that we are part of this family. We understood that now everything that is here belongs to us, so we take care of everything here. And when Jesus opened the, the gates of heaven, and he opened the gate of heaven, and that curtain was split into two, those who believed in him, all of them have given, have been called the children of God. Because the Bible says those who are in Christ, there is no now no more condemnation. Let us understand Jesus Christ. So that we know why we have received the salvation. We we do not just dress uh, to show out outward, but we have salvation in us. Because the Bible says there is a seal in us that shows that we are the children of God. We, we walk knowing that we died and rose again for the one who gave us salvation. Please try and encourage your brethren. Those who are uh, um, getting tired, let them arise. Lift everyone, lift your neighbor because we are in a journey to heaven. Stir your neighbor, make them strong because we have a journey to eternity. Many people don't know that we are walking in salvation. Uh, the world can see us, but they, we, they don't understand we have a salvation. Uh, they, they, uh, under, they should understand we are favored because we have salvation. Because we already have the power, the, 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 
the seal. We do not need any other, any other letter, any other approval because we already have salvation. We have um, words as it was written in, uh, in the book by Paul. We do not need any identity again. In our hearts, there is words that have been written. And those, and those words say it's dying and rising in the Lord Jesus Christ. And those letters say that you've been called as the children of God. Your identity has been changed. And the, those letters say that you are forsaken, you are, are, are children out there, but now you've been called in as a children. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians that uh, blessed be the Lord Almighty who has called us and in, in everything he has given us all inheritance in Christ Jesus. That's our salvation. That's our hope. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what the world says about us. It, the, the world could, uh, uh, may, might not love us, might not like us. They might look down upon us. They can talk whatever they want about us. But we know we have Christ. We have salvation. We are walking in salvation. We have a difference in salvation. We have a difference. We are different from the world. We have a, a, a walk. We have our path different from the world. This the person who gave us salvation and has given us a plan and a law on how to walk in salvation. He's given us limits. We have limits. We have a way of, uh, the way we say it, we have limits of what we can say and not. And we have a place in Christ. Why? We are keeping salvation. We are walking in fear and trembling because we are in salvation. We have been called and we have been chained to the children of God. That's the hope of the church. We do not just live and, and, um, and, and live on just salary and, and money. No. We have a hope of salvation. We, are, we have a hope in Christ. One day, we will meet with him. One day, we will greet him. One day, he will receive us in a great, great supper. One day, he will um, um, clean our tears, wipe our tears. Why? Because he knew the world. We have had lots of trouble. We have lots of trouble. Let's walk as Christians. Let's walk as Christians. Paul said to the, uh, to the Colossians, walk as people who are mature. Let's please God in all things. Let's please God. Let's please God in what we do, in what we, we have, in how we live, in everything that we do. Whatever we do, whatever people see us do, 
Tukasema, we say, we say mungu. let's please God. Mungu when we please God, na ye and he will please us too. When we um, respect him, yesu jambo. when we fear him, God, uh, Ata, Jesus said it, this, mungu wa the, anyone who serves the Lord of heaven, na baba wa and the, the God of heaven also will Hallelujah. honor him. Hallelujah. Tum, mungu Let's serve God wherever we are. Let's persevere the word, the word of God says. Let's have good fruits in our lives. Let's try to build our salvation. When Jesus comes back, we'll find us standing, standing firm. When Paul uh, said bye to the church of uh, Ephesians, God, uh, Paul told them, uh, put the whole armor of God because I know I'm leaving you in uh, in battle, but please put on the whole armor of God. When he went to Corinth, he said to them, please do not be shaken. Stand firm. When you continue to serve God all the time. Because what you're going through is not in vain. That's what he said. That's what the covenant with, with us. This is what Paul told the church. Do not do not be wavered. Do tu, not do tu, not shake. Let's stand firm in our salvation. Please do not joke with your salvation. Do not take light your salvation. But take, treat yourself as if you are um, a bride. Waiting to be taken by the the the, uh, the husband, you are you will be received. The, uh, heaven is waiting for you, so that we can live a hundred and plus years. So that we can live to see the Lord. The last thing our ultimate plan is to see the Lord. And everything that we do on earth here, you will give an account. And everything that we do unto the Lord, we will give an account. That's why I remind you, take everything concerning you seriously. So that you can put wisdom in everything you do. Do everything with a lot of wisdom because you carry salvation. Do not fall where people are standing. So that you will be counted as one who was standing in salvation. Being, yeah, Being a Christian doesn't need doesn't need a lot of strength. It's it's a it's a simple thing, but if you understand that, you will be strong and you'll be able to stand. Let's hold our salvation. Everywhere you go, everywhere you walk, let people know that you have salvation. Those who have salvation are different. There are people who have been chosen. There are people who have been selected. There are you have a salvation. It's very, very important. The uka, most important thing. It's a lot of richness. You can, no one can take it from you. 
kuwa mkristo kuwa na ukovu being a christian having salvation kuelewa mambo ya ukovu to understand uh, the things of salvation yeye ni kodemu hakuelewa mambo ya ukovu like nicodemus didn't understand this alikuwa anajua sheria zote na jinsi alikuwa anaelewa he knew all the laws and everything but he didn't understand salvation alipokuwa jioni akamkaribia masia but when night fall fell he went and met the messiah akamwambia nielezee hiyo mambo unaongea na watu wenyeji niko nakusikia unaongea in ask him i had you to talk about this please tell me about the salvation yes akamwambia but jesus told him unatakiwa kuzaliwa mara ya pili you will need to be born again unatakiwa unajua idi ya ulimwengu unajua mambo ya siasa ya nje lakini lazima uzaliwe mara ya pili. You know everything, you know all this about laws, but you need to be born a second time. Kamilisha ukristo ni kuwa na ukovu kamili. To be a, f- a full Christian is to have perfect salvation. Ni kufa kwa mwili tunapofuka kwa kiroho. It's to die in in Christ and to ri- rise in Christ. Kwa sababu Bwana Yesu Yesu Kristo because of Jesus Christ ametupa kwa njia ya mauti he, 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 he died and akamaliza mambo ya msalaba he died uh, he died on the cross akatuletea wokovu and he gave us salvation tuna passport kabanda so we have a passport ina vitu vitano which have five things jambo la kwanza imetupa matukio ya mbinguni the first thing is give, is given us matrix matrix sisa rudia tena sisa rudia tena Oh, registration matrix, <laughs> matrix. Okay. matrix. He given us a registration in heaven tumepata matukio yetu ya mbinguni he's given us a registration in heaven kwa because of the cross wokovu salvation umetupa mlango wa kuingia he's given us a door to enter through kwa sababu kuna kuna siku moja wanasema na ile nani walikuwa wanasema yesu ameifungua Lango nzuri la mbinguni ili niingie humo kwa neema yake kubwa ili niingie humo kwa neema yake kubwa Yesu amelifungua lango nzuri la mbinguni ili niingie humo so that i can go through by grace by his great grace hallelujah 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 oh hallelujah hallelujah yesu ametufungulia tumepata mlango wa kufunguliwa jesus has opened the door so that we can go through kwa sababu ya mlango wa mbinguni because he had is a door to heaven yesu amefungua mlango the lord has opened the door wokovu Uh, salvation umetupa jina mzuri has given us a name a good name wana wa Mungu children of god haizuru kuwa na baba yako au wala hauna baba it doesn't matter whether you have your 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 parents or not kwa sasa unaweza kuwa yatima kama wengine ni wengi wana kuwa wa yatima you might be an orphan like many people are lakini walio na ukovu but those who have salvation hawahesabiwe kama wa yatima they are not counted as orphans wana baba wa mbinguni because they have Heavenly Father is 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 um kama ni doing malipo, things kama for them. Ya masomo, kama ni ya nyumba, kama ni maisha, Whatever they are. Tuzo kwa muganga, i, kama ni kutafutiwa rimikadi na health fair na vinginevyo. Baba wa mbinguni anashughulika. Whatever they need, all the things in the affairs of men, whatever they need. God in heaven is doing something for them. Kwa sababu gani maana anasema sitasumbuka kwa kuwa baba ni baba yangu kabisa because the bible says because the bible says i will not i will not um, fear because heavenly father is doing everything for kwa me ya ukovu, mimi si kwa yatima. because of the salvation i am not an orphan si yatima. i cannot be called an orphan wokovu umekuja because salvation has come umeleta jina so that he can give us answers nimeitwa mwana wa mungu i have been called the, chil- the child of god jambo la aina the, fa- the fourth thing Mungu ametupa wokovu God has given us salvation ametupa amani He's given us um, uh, peace Mimi natembea kwa amani I'm walking in peace Yesu akaambia kanisa God uh, Jesus told the church pokeni amani yake Receive the pe- the peace of God Mwachie mahero yangu 
Receive the peace of God. Okay, man. Receive the peace of God. No one should disturb you. Do not be troubled. Okay, man. Receive peace. Receive the uh, um, live with a lot of peace. Live with faith by faith. Because it's written, believe in the word of God. Jesus, Jesus left us with uh, faith. We cannot be troubled again. Because we have peace. We have peace in us. Anything is well. Uh, I was in Arusha one day and I met a pastor. And something I learned a, a great lesson from him. When we left the service uh, at the six, uh, six noon, noon service, uh, they, they broke a bad news to this pastor that had, uh, his daughter had an accident when he was dri she was driving and passed, he passed away. She passed away. In uh, as a African culture, when you are bereaved, people come to you to help you to mourn. When I went to see that pastor, before Mazishi Ajakua, uh, before the, the funerals, uh, arrangements. I went to him and asked, uh, uh, saw him. I uh, greeted him. Uh, how are you, Pastor? And asked him, uh, Are you okay? Are you well? He told me everything is well. He told me everything is well. Everything is going on well. And I, 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 I learned something and as I said to myself, Power this pastor has a lot of faith. The Bible, uh, uh, Paul said in all seasons, when it, is, uh, when it is convenient and when it is not, let's be complete. He's given us faith. And the fifth thing as we finish, our salvation is a covenant. In the book of John chapter uh, 14, the Bible says, do not be troubled. Please. In, book, in chapter 14 says, John, John, John 14. John, John, Sura ya kumina ine. John 14. Injili ya Yohana. Ile ni ile ya nangaliki. Verse. Verse 1. Jesus told them, do not be troubled in your heart. Believe in God. Believe in God. In, in the house of God, there is many houses. If it was not so, I would have told you. But what, where I am making for you, it's a good place. So that where I am, you also will be with me. Salvation, it's a, it's a covenant. It's a covenant. We are in chains, we are living here, but we have a covenant. One day we might migrate, we might go to heaven. Do not uh, forsake your salvation. Yeah. 
do not forget this. We are living on earth, but our eternity is in heaven. We are being waited for in heaven. Our salvation is covenant. Because the Bible says, when you call me, I will answer. Because we need to see the work of your hand. That's why we have salvation. That's why we depend on salvation. So, that, so that we understand what the Bible says. So that we know that uh, a salvation is a covenant. It's a covenant. Uh, anyone who is traveling cannot uh, lose their passport. Because they know that this the visa they are carrying is the most important thing. If they don't have that, they will go back wherever they came from. Hello. Hello. May God bless you. <laughs> Please be careful with your salvation. Do not forget. Do not um, do not lose your salvation. Stand, let's stand up as we pray together.